Growth begins where comfort ends. It's a powerful statement, one that challenges the way we often think about progress and change. Most of us strive for comfort. We want stability, security, and ease. But here's the paradox. While comfort may give us temporary peace, it rarely leads to growth. True growth, the kind that transforms us and takes us to the next level, happens when we step outside of our comfort zones. Today, I want to talk about why growth and discomfort are so deeply connected and why embracing discomfort can unlock new possibilities in your life. Let's start with comfort zones. They're called comfort zones for a reason. They're familiar, safe, and predictable. Whether it's staying in a job we've outgrown, avoiding difficult conversations, or sticking to routines that no longer challenge us, we all have areas of life where we settle into comfort. It feels good to know what to expect, to avoid risks, and to stay in a space where there's little chance of failure. But here's the thing, comfort zones are also limiting. When we stay in our comfort zone, we stop stretching ourselves. We stop learning. We stop pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And slowly, without even realizing it, we stagnate. We settle for less than what we're capable of. Think about it. All the major breakthroughs in history, whether in science, art, or personal achievements, happened because someone was willing to step outside of their comfort zone. They were willing to risk failure, discomfort, and uncertainty because they knew that growth was on the other side. I remember a time in my own life when I was faced with this choice. I had the opportunity to take on a new project at work that was completely outside of my skill set. At first, I hesitated. I told myself, I'm not ready. What if I fail? What if I make a fool of myself? It would have been much easier to stay where I was, doing what I already knew I was good at. But something inside me knew that if I didn't take the leap, I would regret it. So, with a lot of uncertainty and fear, I said yes. The first few weeks were uncomfortable, to say the least. I made mistakes, I felt overwhelmed, and there were moments when I wanted to give up. But slowly, as I pushed through the discomfort, something incredible happened. I started to grow. I developed new skills, built confidence, and learned things about myself that I never would have discovered if I had stayed in my comfort zone. That project ended up being a turning point in my career. But more importantly, it taught me the power of embracing discomfort as a path to growth. There's actually science behind why growth and discomfort go hand in hand. When we push ourselves beyond what we already know, our brains form new neural connections. It's in these moments of challenge and struggle that we become more adaptable, more creative, and more resilient. Think of it like physical exercise. If you go to the gym and lift the same amount of weight every day, your muscles won't grow. It's only when you increase the weight, when you push your muscles to their limit, that they start to grow stronger. The same is true for your mind, your character, and your abilities. Growth happens when you challenge yourself, when you take on things that feel difficult or even impossible. 
So how can we start embracing discomfort in our everyday lives? Here are a few simple steps. One, set challenging goals. Don't just aim for what's easy. Set goals that push you out of your comfort zone. Whether it's learning a new skill, speaking in public, or starting a new venture, choose something that excites you but also scares you a little. Get comfortable with failure. Discomfort often comes with the fear of failure, but failure is not something to avoid. In fact, it's an essential part of growth. When you fail, you learn. When you learn, you grow. So shift your mindset. Failure isn't the end, it's part of the journey. Three, take small steps. Growth doesn't have to mean taking huge leaps all at once. Start small. Do one thing today that stretches you, something that makes you a little uncomfortable. Over time, those small steps will add up and you'll find yourself growing in ways you never imagined. Surround yourself with support. Growth can be hard especially when you're stepping into the unknown. Surround yourself with people who encourage you, who push you, and who remind you that you're capable of more than you think. Now let's talk about the rewards. When you embrace discomfort, when you push yourself beyond what's familiar, something incredible happens. You discover new strengths, new abilities, and new levels of resilience. You start to see the world differently, with more possibilities, more opportunities. And perhaps most importantly, you develop a deeper sense of self-confidence. Confidence doesn't come from staying in your comfort zone. It comes from facing challenges, overcoming obstacles, and proving to yourself that you are capable of more than you once believed. Think about people like Oprah Winfrey, who faced unimaginable challenges early in life, but went on to become one of the most influential voices in the world. Or Nelson Mandela, who endured 27 years in prison but emerged to lead a nation toward healing and reconciliation. These people didn't grow because their lives were comfortable. They grew because they faced discomfort head on and used it as fuel to drive them forward. So, as we close, I want to leave you with this thought. Growth begins where comfort ends. If you want to achieve things you've never achieved before, you have to be willing to step outside of what's familiar. You have to be willing to embrace discomfort, knowing that it's the key to becoming the person you were meant to be. The next time you're faced with a choice, whether to stay comfortable or to push yourself, Remember this, every great thing you'll ever achieve lies just beyond your comfort zone. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and family members.